Hi friend, this is Mandeep and you are watching High Technology TV. In this video, I am going to show you how to install SQL Server 2022. So just go to Google and then search for SQL Server 2022 and then click on this link. So here we just have to click on try now. Then we have to click on SQL Server on premises. So click on download now. A new tab will open and here we have to fill all these details. I am going to mask my email. Then click on download now. Now we have to click on this 64 bit addition. So click here. And a installer will be downloaded. So just click double click on it. So now we have three ways to install. So first one is basic, then we have custom and then the download media. So in this, as you can see that the basic installation type is run and the engine feature with the default one. Here we can choose the installation that what we are going to do and what we are going to select here, which feature we are going to select. And in this, the media will be downloaded and then we have to install it so here we are going with download media ban iso file and this will be the location so just click on download and it is going to take some time so i'm going to fast forward the video here Okay friends, so our media is downloaded. So click on open folder. So here you can see this is our ISO file, this one. So just mount it. Now click on setup. Now click on the installation and now we have to click on new SQL Server standalone installation or add feature to an existing installation. So click on it. Here we have to specify the addition. So we are going with evaluation addition and we have two different addition also that is developer and express. You can check the features, what feature they have so right now we are going with the evaluation just click on next and accept the license terms here now click on next so we have a warning this is for windows firewall we can ignore this Click next and here we have to select the instance feature that we are going to use. So if you want to use the replication then you have to select this. For machine learning this then full text, data quality services, then polyways, then analysis services, then integration services. 
so these are the features from which you can select and then you can install so right now i am just going with integration services master data services and then database engine services on that i have selected full text and semantic extractions then click on this is the default location if you want to change it you can change it so here the instance will be default if you want to install as a named instance you can provide the name here but i'm going with the default instance if any of the instance is already installed that will be listed here so just go with the default instance click next so this is the server configuration through which our services of sql server will be run so these are the service accounts here you can see that entity services are the account here you can select the startup type let choose the automatic here and then click on the next also one thing i just forgot that is collision if you want to change the collision you can change it from here here if you want to select or if you want to install your sql server as uh, SQL Server Authentication and Windows Authentication, you can select from here. In Windows Authentication, your default Windows user will be added. For that, you have to click on Add Current User. And here, you can see that our default user, that is MUN, on this particular the desktop, will be added as a administrator and if we want to use the mix mode then we have to specify the password for sc so let's specify that for data data directory just go here and select the data directory then for time tb you can provide the number of files size auto growth and the data directory then max top you can specify here memory also you can specify if you want to customize it and the file stream so i i'm going with the default settings and then click on next this is the summary that what we are going to do and then click on install so now it is going to take some time okay friends so if you are able to see that our sql server installation is successful and here it is saying that one or more affected file have been operation as pending and we must restart our computer okay just click ok then close it then we have to install the sql server management studio so for that we have to search here Okay, let's open this in Google Chrome and then we have to download this. Okay, so just click on it. So it is going to take around three to four minutes. Let's wait for that. Okay friends, so SQL Server Management Studio is downloaded. Now we need to install it. And just click on install. This is the location.
ओके फ्रेंड्स सो एज यू कैन सी दैट आवर माइक्रोसॉफ्ट सिकल सर्विस मैनेजमेंट स्टूडियो इज इंस्टॉल्ड एंड नाउ वी जस्ट हैव टू कनेक्ट टू आवर सिकल सर्वर and this is our microsoft sql server management studio so by default our server name comes here and here the authentication type is windows authentication so connect it so here you can see that we are connected okay let's connect to windows uh, sql server authentication also so provide sa here and password so here you can see that we have connected through sa and this is the windows authentication now let's check the version execute it so here you can see that our version of sql server is microsoft sql server 2022 rtm the build date is of october 8 2022 and the time here okay friends so by this way you can install your sql server on your windows 10 or 11 and by installing the sql server management studio you can connect to your sql server and manage your database thanks for watching have a great day